I was talking to the great author Catherine Ponder one day in the green room before we went on stage. And she was talking about her books, her books like Dynamic Laws of Prosperity. She's written like 30 books. And I asked her, I said that I'm going to be doing prosperity seminars around the country. And for her to share with me some of her techniques that worked. And she said, well, I'm going to give you one, and you'll be surprised because it's so simple. You'll probably disregard it because it's so simple, you'll think it doesn't have any power. She said, but this one technique has worked better than most. It has really changed lives. She went on to say, usually when we pray, or when we try to focus the mind, the mind doesn't focus real well. It usually is quite scattered, going in 27 different directions at one time. That's true also when we pray. It causes our prayers and our focus to be quite diluted. So we need to practice focused thinking. But on what? She said for 10 minutes a day, to sit down in a quiet place and think of one word, one idea. And that one word and one idea is plenty. Immerse yourself with the feeling of plenty, of abundance, of, of all the good of God. And at first, it's, it's quite awkward. You sit down and you try to focus the mind and you go plenty, 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 plenty. And it doesn't seem to be working. But slowly, you're honing in the mind like a laser beam. And what you think, what you focus the mind on, turns on a great switch within you. And you start a great divine attracting power for that into your life. It is the attracting power of the mind. And so when you practice this and you do it continuously for 30 days, what a great thing to do going into a brand new year filled with new opportunities. You sit down in a quiet place every day and you think about that one idea, that one word, plenty. And it will literally begin to infill you. The Bible talks over and over again about putting on the Christ. Well, what does that mean? It is the Christ, the exalted, the divine, the perfection of an idea. And it will be in many different forms. It could be putting on the Christ for health, putting on the Christ for love, putting on the Christ to do the best all the time in honesty and trust. Well, this time, it is for plenty. And you will find, quite surprisingly, what it draws into your life in 2012. Merry Christmas, my friend. I wish you plenty. I wish you more than enough.